Tundra again, about an hour later, 12 by 8, and the same, um, 2600 milliamp batteries as before, so, we'll uh, see much, how much speed we lose, I'm going to assume we're going to lose a whole lot. Plane. Where is that plane at? I can hear it, but I can't see it. There it is. No sweat. So anyway, here we go. Straight line speed 79. Ooh. That's actually quite a bit less quite a bit less than I thought. And 56 amps. I might just go back to the 12 by 10. I've got a little bit of tiny amount of breeze coming from my left here, I think. So we'll yeah. We'll try a downwind run and see if we can at least hit 80. Uh, that's 12 by 12 by 8 is 88 and uh, 12 by 10 hits 92 so keep that 60 or 59 amps so yeah I think a 12 by 10 is what I'll, what I'll just keep on it stick with a 12 by 10. It's does the job and I get a little bit more speed when I want. It. I haven't tried to hover. Let's try that, I guess. Let's see, I'm gonna slow down a bit first so I can actually get it up in a vertical without being 200 feet up. And we should have plenty of power to hover controllably now. Yeah. It's not bad at all. to get it to uh, climb up a little bit faster. Yeah. It's not great at hovering by any means, but then again, it's it's a Tundra. <laughs> yeah. It does what a Tundra is supposed to do, I suppose. And hovering really isn't one of them. stable plane inverted. It's not happy being inverted, but it's a high wing, so I guess that's pretty much to be expected.
Whatever you do, dude, don't stop right behind me because that's where I'm going to land. I was just thinking about that before I went out here. Like, you know, I hope nobody ever stops to spectate right behind me because I won't have anywhere to land. Yeah. If you can back up a little bit, if you can back up a little bit, because I got to land right in my driveway there, so you're right in my landing path. <laughs> Normal time expired, but not my extended time with bigger batteries time expired. I suppose this can do a knife edge loop of any kind. Nah. Don't think that's even gonna be doable. <laughs> it just doesn't want to stay knife edge at all. Yeah. Knife edge loop is not for the tundra. Go to the right a little bit. That's only about not even three quarter throttle. Maybe two thirds. I get the low one. Low on battery here. We'll call that good and, and land it. All right, where do we have to go? Keep an eye the plane too. I'm flying around here. Put on full flaps here. Oh, the wind is kind of picking up a little bit. I'm going to have to uh, deal with that on the way in. Oh, and it still nosed over. I, I had full elevator, full up elevator to keep it from nosing over, but didn't work. Yeah, I peaked at 88 miles an hour, according to the screen. Let's see what the actual GPS does. It says, not going to do much. <sighs> yes, yeah, there's too much grass, too much tall stuff, weeds and everything growing up here, so landing just isn't feasible, I think. Well, if I picked that spot instead of that spot, it probably would have been alright, but <laughs> kind of landed in the worst possible stuff here. And I got mole tunnels, so it certainly doesn't help either. Uh, up. Where are your GPS? Um, there you are. <laughs> it's not attached in any way, so kind of laying there. Here we go. 88. 88. Did you match? So yeah, we almost went back to the future. But not quite. 